Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I worship you, Father. Thank you, Father. God, I bless you tonight. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Thank you for your mercy, your grace. Thank you for all things that pertain to life and godliness in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for the leading of your Holy Spirit, Father. Mm. Thank you even now for functioning in your mercies and your benefits that started this morning for us, oh God. God, I thank you for that. I thank you for soundness of mind stability in our emotions tonight, oh God. I thank you, Father, for new levels of receptivity, God, new levels of understanding, new levels of, re of revelation, Father, that's going to take us, Father, to that next place of abiding in you, my God, hallelujah. I thank you for your abiding presence, my God. God, I worship you. Thank you for the security, my God, that I have in your presence. Hallelujah. Nobody can make me feel like you make me feel, Lord God. Nobody can take care of me like you take care of me, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you for that. You're the most high God. We honor you tonight. We respect your sovereignty tonight. We may not understand everything that is happening in the world today, oh God, but we reverence you and we respect your sovereignty tonight, my God, hallelujah. We rest in you. We find a new resting place in you tonight. In spite of the sign of the times, oh God, we find a new resting place in you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your love, your mercy, your grace. Thank you, Father. Thank you for holiness and righteousness, oh God. Thank you. Thank you for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Thank you tonight, God. Holy Spirit, Comforter, my God, Holy Ghost, thank you for abiding with us tonight as you take us through the scriptures, as you release this word through me tonight. I thank you. Thank you for trusting me with this word, God. I humble myself under your mighty hand, O oh God, my God. I humble myself, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, we come before your throne of grace tonight. Those who are under the sound of my voice. And we ask you to wash us in the blood of the Lamb and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness tonight, Father. Let nothing be in our way relative to what it is that you want to say. Help me, Holy Ghost. Thank you. We offer you a fresh surrender tonight, a fresh surrender tonight, a fresh anointing tonight, my God. Take us into another level of authority in you, my God. Your power and your authority can overcome the enemy, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for new territory in the spirit on tonight. Thank you, Father, as we break through darkness. Thank you for deliverance, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you for made up minds, my God. I thank you for that tonight. A made up mind. A made up mind, God. I thank you for that tonight, Father. Those who are willing to follow you all the way, God. No compromise. Holiness and righteousness, God. We want to align with what you are requiring of us in these evil and wicked times. I decree and declare tonight that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, 
we condemn it and we pull it down but this is our heritage as children of the most high god god we thank you for the privilege god hallelujah that our vindication is of you my god my god hallelujah i worship you father i give you glory tonight i honor you tonight god i love you thank you for tuning in thank you for coming in share the broadcast share it tonight this is a word from the lord hallelujah my god my god my god my god hallelujah i was driving my car yesterday and i just heard the lord speak to me while i was driving and i came to a light of course you know you're not supposed to text when you drive and i don't usually do that but I just text the title of what he was saying to me. It was just overwhelming in the moment. And he was saying to me, Lydia, King, this, my kingdom status prevails. My kingdom statutes prevail over earthly status. My kingdom statutes prevail over earthly status. I said, oh my God, I couldn't wait to get home and settle myself in God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you as I bring this word tonight. I thank you that your people will never be the same again. I thank you for that. Thank you for the challenge. Thank you for the challenge tonight, my God. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, there is more taking place than meets the natural eye. There is now lots of unseen movement manifesting in the earth, some of which doesn't have the righteous right to even exist. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to say it again. I want to say it again. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, there's more taking place than meets the natural eye. There is now lots of unseen movement manifesting in the earth, some of which doesn't have the righteous right to even exist, my God. In other words, we who are the righteousness of God are allowing things to manifest that should never have an opportunity to show its ugly head. Oh my God, church, we better get on our A game. You better get on your A game in the spirit. I'm on a triple A game. God, help me tonight. Help me tonight. He's saying those things that are manifesting doesn't even have a righteous right to manifest. Uh, and we who are the righteousness of God are allowing things to manifest uh, that should never have an opportunity to even show its ugly head. Help me, Holy Ghost. But he says, when we are caught up on maintaining our earthly status, rather than keeping his kingdom statutes, my God, we engage in unseen supernatural demonic trade-offs. Listen to this negotiated by our emotions rather than the knowledge of God that doesn't even benefit the body of Christ. God help me tonight. Because we're not on our watch, because the spirit of intercession is not hitting the church like it should be hitting the church right now. Things are happening and manifesting in the earth realm that doesn't have a righteous right to even exist and it's only coming forth because we are allowing some things to happen due to the lack of obedience and the lack of prayer and being caught up on our earthly status and our titles and where we live and prominence and you know I'm somebody help me Holy Ghost help me Holy Ghost He's saying when we get caught up on maintaining our earthly status rather than keeping God's kingdom statutes, we engage in unseen supernatural demonic trade-offs. My God. When we get caught up on ourselves, you can make a deal with the devil. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. We can get so caught up on ourselves that we'll do anything that it takes to get what we want and it's not of God. Help me, Holy Ghost. What is he saying? 
As I'm manifesting my kingdom agenda, says the Lord, I'm dictating timely revelation based on the sovereignty of my earthly move. I'm leading you by my Holy Spirit so you will know what I approve of or disapprove. I hope you heard what he said, that poetic prophetic word. I'm manifesting my kingdom agenda. I'm dictating timely revelation based on the sovereignty of my move. I'm leading you by my Holy Spirit so you will know what I approve or disapprove. Help me, Holy Ghost. While I was reading that, uh, the Holy Spirit was showing me something. He showed me a time capsule. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, 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 you know, even when you take uh, uh, medication, it's released in a time capsule, which means that it's released uh, at certain times uh, based on the prescription. It has certain levels of release of medication in your system. Help me, Holy Ghost, that can meet your need. But the Lord is saying to us tonight, I'm releasing timely revelation. Help me, Holy Ghost. God can download something in your spirit right now. And you may not have to take care of it until tomorrow. Or you may not be confronted with the situation that matches the revelation to be able to implement it when you need to. It, it, it's like a timely release of his revelation that he's moving with right now. In the days ahead, the righteous must become more proactive in my presence. In the days ahead, the righteous must become more proactive in my presence. My God, ready to take on immediate action on the leading of my revelation relative to their surroundings. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. He says, he says, my God, we must become more proactive in his presence. What I enjoy about the presence of the Lord is that when I'm engaging in his divine nature, as, I, as, I, as I'm in his presence, I'm in his presence right now, and, and, and as I'm engaging in this revelatory activity, this holy revelatory activity, he is making me more proactive relative to delivering what needs to be delivered tonight. So he's saying, I need you to be more proactive in my presence. Help me, Holy Ghost. He says, when you show up, I've got something for you to do. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. We're in a time slot where we can no longer say, I didn't see that thing coming. Or I never expected them to behave that way. Come on, come on, he's talking to us tonight. Stay with me. The church must have complete obedience to Christ in the presence of disobedience in order to become strong enough through Christ to stop demonic manifestations that the church is not aware of. Help me, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, help me tonight, please. Let me say it to you again. We can no longer say, I didn't see it coming. No excuse now. No excuse. We can never say, I never expected them to behave that way. He's telling us this for a reason. Because he wants to be us to be up on the leading of his Holy Spirit. And he doesn't want us to deny what we see when he's trying to show us something. Sometimes we deny what we see because we're seeing something in a person that we may like. Help me, Holy Ghost. So we play it down while that demon still has his way. God said, that's over. The church must have complete obedience in the presence of disobedience uh, in order to be strong enough through Christ to stop demonic manifestations uh, that the church is not aware of. Help me, Holy Ghost. Wake us up tonight, Lord. Lord, let an awakening come on us tonight. Let the eyes of the understanding, the eyes of our heart being open tonight. God, open it up tonight. Open it up tonight. He's saying it's where demons enter through open portals without permission. My God. Because church, we're not watching. 
we're not living what we believe and we're not believing what we live. Uh, so what happens, the enemy spots us off of our A-game and he begins to intervene into our daily circumstances uh, by different levels of seduction and lies uh, that he brings our way. And because we're not walking the way that we need to walk in Christ, we miss it. Some of us don't even know that the devil is on us until we start acting like him. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Stay with me. He said, it's where demons enter through open portals without permission. He says, when you don't know who you are, demons don't have, oh my God, when you don't know who you are, demons don't have to travel that far. Oh God. Oh God. When you don't know who you are, Demons can jump on you anytime, anywhere, wherever you are throughout your day. Help me, Holy Ghost. Just stay with me. He's saying we are waging an unseen war with visible manifestations and only through our complete obedience to Christ can we effectively wage war and shut the door. It's time to shut the door. It's time to shut the door on disobedience. I tell you, some of us are gonna to have to make an aggressive decision. I just heard the Holy Spirit. Some of us are gonna to have to make an aggressive decision in order to obey God. Mm. But I can tell you tonight, by the Spirit of the living God, it's time to run for your life. God help me tonight. Help me tonight. Now let's listen to how the Apostle Paul speaks in his apostolic authority. The Holy Scriptures testify, my God, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 6. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 6, that's NIV. Get your Bibles, I hope you got them. He's saying, for though we live in this world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. What is he saying here? We take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ, my God, and we will be ready at that time to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. I tell you, church, we have to lock into this tonight. It's something about complete obedience that will cause you not to question God. Help me, Holy Ghost. There's something about complete obedience uh, that, that enhances your authority. My Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost. There's something about complete obedience that we have through Christ Jesus, my God, to make us a walking weapon in the earth. God, help me tonight. So church, what's he saying? Our prayers are more powerful than guns. Our prayers are more powerful than war. Our prayers are more powerful than guns. Help me, Holy Ghost. We are in this world, but we live by a different set of rules. And until we become, oh my God, until we bring Jesus, our personal and collective earthly status, bring your status, your earthly status, in submission to God's statutes. Stay with me. And when we do that, we will be more effective in maintaining our victory through Christ. You know, the Lord said something to me today as I was finishing up my word. And he said to me, he said, hallelujah. He says, reputation without salvation is damnation. My God. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. So he's saying, our prayers are more powerful than guns. We're in a world, but we live by a different set of rules. And until we bring our personal and collective status in submission to the Lord's statutes, 
we will not be effective in maintaining our victory through Christ. The psalmist said in Psalm 119, verses 137 and 138, NIV version, You are righteous, Lord, and your laws are right. The statutes you have laid down are righteous, and they are fully trustworthy, my God. Holy Ghost, help us tonight. Just stay with me. We having this conversation because we're growing together. Come on. And we've got to grow out of some things uh, to come into some new things that we are expecting from God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm asking the Lord to help us to surrender our wills tonight. Entice us enough in this word uh, that will cause us to surrender our wills on a whole nother level. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. So what is the Lord saying? The status of my statutes will always remain the same. The righteous can stand on my firm foundation because my statutes will never change. My God, I just heard the Holy Ghost. Your status will change, but God's statute will not change. Where do you want to stand? Help me, Holy Ghost. Church, the only thing that we can fully trust is the firm foundation of God's holy word. And the Lord is saying, as nations are rising against nations, it's a clear indication that his kingdom's statutes are colliding with man's earthly status. Why? Folks don't want to obey the word of God. This is a, this is a nation to nation thing. I'm telling you, Folks are rising up against the very word of God that we live by. And the safest place for us, church, is in the will of God. I'm telling you, there's a supernatural safety net when we dwell in the presence of the Most High God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. And God has just given us a glimpse of how worthy it is to submit to the leading of his Holy Spirit in troubled times, in troubled times. He's our supernatural safety net and his statutes never change. My God, my God, my God. I'd rather hang out where I have a, 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 a permanent place in God in his statutes, help me Holy Ghost. In other words, the Lord is saying, when his kingdom statutes, which are his decrees, his orders, his rulings, and his commands are ignored, because we place more importance on our earthly status, meaning our position, our prestige, our rank, our reputation, our prominence, we will continue to wage war as the world does and fail to master our victory through Christ. I mean it, oh God help us tonight. Holy Ghost, help us tonight. I, I don't want to lose. I, I, I have an intentional thing in my heart. I want my manifested victory. You've got to want victory. You've got to, you've tasted victory before. If you're losing, it's what you're choosing. You have tasted victory before, but God wants us to taste victory on his terms now. Help me, Holy Ghost. Sometimes we get so comfortable and what we're going through that's not pleasing to God, that it begins to take a greater hold of us rather than the word of God. And a lot of us are in those situations right now, but God is telling us there's a way of escape. I'm giving you a strategy tonight to, to, to look to the statutes, to, to stand in the very statutes, the decrees, uh, uh, the rulings and the commands of God because it's a firm foundation for us, church. Help me, Holy Ghost. Why? We're in an unseen war with visible manifestations, and only through our complete obedience to Christ can we effectively wage war and shut the door. There's some doors to be shut tonight. You've got to make a decision to shut some doors tonight. I don't care how good it feels. I don't care how good it tastes. Help me, Holy Ghost. I don't care if you experience such a high that you can't let it go. Come on out and shut the door tonight. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Lord is saying we're in a time slot where we can no longer say, I didn't see it coming. 
or I never expected them to behave that way. The Lord is saying, leave no room for bitterness. Leave no room for bitterness and disappointment to set in. Don't get caught up in trying to protect the status of your reputation over his kingdom statutes. Mm. That's a tight place, uh, but it's a right place. It's a tight place, but it's a right place. Help me, Holy Ghost, because some of us are so, we want to protect our reputation so, and we have forgotten about the statutes of the Lord. What is he saying? It's better to be blameless in my presence, even while others place the blame on you. Help me, Holy Ghost. It's better to be blameless in my presence, uh, even while others place the blame on you, the righteous judge is moving in the earth, exposing what's false or true. Mm. Help me, Holy Ghost. And the Lord is saying to us, as long as we are blameless in his presence, what does it matter what other thinks? As long as we are blameless in his presence, what does it matter what other people think? Oh, my God. Those who don't accept responsibility for themselves will always blame others. When we befriend sin, we got a false friend. Oh, God, help me tonight. When we spend time with the Lord, it drowns out demonic voices. My God, uh, there are supernatural divine protection. My God. In the statutes of God, there is supernatural divine protection in the statutes of the Lord that provide supernatural release for the righteous that keep us free from being in bondage to others. Oh, my God. Whenever you're in a relationship that's controlling, you're in bondage to that other person. But God is saying... It's better to be blameless in his presence, even while others are blaming you. And don't get bitter. Don't be disappointed. And don't let sin set in, my God. And don't get caught up on protecting your reputation, the status of your reputation. Seek God's kingdom statutes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Going back to the scriptures. I'm not going to be long tonight, but I need you to hear this word. This is a fresh word from heaven. And God is just aligning us in him uh, for the sign of the times. We are in the end times and the pressures of every day. My God, uh, you can sense it. You can feel it. Uh, you watch it on TV. You hear it over the radio. We have conversations all day with people relative to the sign of the times. We are experiencing things that have never taken place in this earth realm before. And God is saying, if you will come on and make the adjust adjustments in me and through me, my God. He says, I can keep you through it all. My God, I'm on the Lord's side. Who's on the Lord's side? Help me, Holy Ghost. The Holy Scriptures testify in Psalm 19, uh, verses 7 to 14, NIV. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord uh, are right giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. Verse nine, the fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm and all of them are righteous. Help me, Holy Ghost. He's telling us about himself. Help me, Holy Ghost. Verse 10, they are more precious than gold and they are more pure. They are more pure, pure than coal, much more pure gold. Let me read that again. Verse 10. They are more precious than gold and much pure gold. They are sweeter than the honey and the honeycomb. My God, by them, listen to this, verse 11, by them your servant is warned and in keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Help me, Holy Ghost. That's a prayer tonight. 
forgive my hidden faults. You know the faults, them faults that nobody else see, them faults that you do in the dark. Help me, Holy Ghost, that, that demons watch and God can see. They're not hidden from God. God forgive my hidden faults. Verse 13, keep your servant also from willful sins. Mm. I just heard the Holy Ghost. He said, habits are made to be broken. Habits are made to be broken. Help me, Holy Ghost. Verse 13, keep your servant from willful sin. My God, my God, may they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless. Here it is. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. What a prayer. What a prayer. Hallelujah. What a prayer. See, this is, this is how we have to pray. And this is how we have to live in these times. We can't get caught up on who we are. We got to know who God is. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Lord is saying in the days ahead, uh, see to it that we live blameless in his presence. My God. See to it that we live blameless in his presence. My God, where his Holy Spirit will train us to become more proactive in his presence, ready to take immediate action on implementing his revelation. My God, my God, I, I, I found this. I, I found this for my personal walk. When God tells you to do something, do it right away, please. Follow, this is how the Holy Spirit will train you. Follow his leading and do it right away. God is training us. He's training us to, to have downloads of revelation so he can move us about in troubled times. My God, uh, we, need to, we need to hear from him when we're riding the, the public transportation. You need to hear from him when you're walking through the grocery store. You need to hear from him when you're outside of your house. You need to hear from him. And he's telling us tonight, he needs us to be blameless in his presence. Help me, Holy Ghost. And he wants us to be proactive in his presence uh, where we implement immediate revelation when it's downloaded in our spirit. God, help us tonight. Help us tonight. He says, it's easy to see yourself as you live transparent in my presence. My God, listen to this. He says, when you don't block me, says the Lord, I will remove anything that's trying to block you. Oh, that's a word from the Lord. If you don't block me, says the Lord, I'm going to remove anything that's trying to block you. Oh, I hold on to that tonight for myself. He says, my statutes are trustworthy. I will open the eyes of your understanding. You will see the simplicity of my truth. In troubled times, says the Lord, reverential fear is a safe place for the righteous. Reverential fear. I'm not afraid of God. I revere God. I reverence God. He said, reverence me. Reverence me in troubled times. It's a safe place for you. I want to know, God, am I doing all right? Uh, did I say the right thing? Uh, did I do anything to grieve your spirit, my God? Uh, God, are you happy with me? Help me, Holy Ghost. God, God, lead me and guide me. We have to have this level of interaction with God. Respect him. Respect him. He's our living landlord, my God. He lives within us. My God, he's the living landlord. He can see it. He can hear it. He can understand it even before we speak it. My God, help me tonight, Holy Ghost. He says, my God, he says, don't block me and I will remove anything that's blocking you. My God, my God, my God. He's saying again, my statutes are trustworthy. I will open the eyes of your understanding and you will see the simplicity of my truth. In troubled times, Reverential fear is a safe place for the righteous. Check with me, says the Lord, and you will see that I've already checked on you. Oh, Jesus. Mm. That's for somebody that thinks that God don't understand what's going on in their life. I double dare you to check with God. Help me, Holy Ghost. And you'll see that he's already checked on you. God, I thank you tonight. He says, be blameless in my presence and you will see the righteous judge of who I am, says the Lord. My God is judging those who are blaming you. Ooh, I love God for that. He's the righteous judge. 
and he's judging those who's blaming you. So he wants us to be blameless in his presence. My God, my God, be proactive in his presence in troubled times. My God, my God, be blameless in my presence, for I am the righteous judge. Why? Anyone who thinks he has all the answers, says the Lord, are those who don't consult with me. My God, my God, don't identify me as the man upstairs. Reject my will and think that you're free. Oh God, oh God, help me. I want to read that again one more time because he's speaking to us tonight. Help me, Holy Ghost. And I'm going to tell you something right now. God does not like to be identified as the man upstairs. Mm. He don't like it. He doesn't like it. What do you want to do? Take the elevator to the top floor? Come on. The man upstairs, who are you talking about? It's just like, you know, uh, uh, um, you get in conversations and, and, and people say, oh, God is good. What God you talking about? People say God and don't want to say Jesus. Because when you say Jesus, my God, it upsets the devil inside of them. Oh, you better, oh, help me tonight, Holy Ghost. As anyone who thinks that he has all the answers are those who don't consult with me. My God, don't identify me as the man upstairs. Reject my will and think that you're free. Oh God, what is he saying? I'm about to close. The Lord is saying, don't be deceived or be impressed by those who are impressed with themselves. Ooh, ooh. Help me, Holy Ghost. Don't be deceived or de impressed with those who are impressed with themselves uh, as their, with their personal status and their earthly gain. Mm. I just heard the Holy Ghost. I just heard him say, don't show off because he might not show up. Oh God, help me tonight. Help me tonight. <sighs> help me tonight. These people that, that are impressed with themselves, they seem to know everything, but they are not submitted to my rulership and my kingdom status, says the spirit of the living God. They identify me as the, the man upstairs. They have familiar spirits uh, that mislead them in conversation and corrupt wisdom. Listen to this. Unfortunately, they are not free because they reject serving me. Help me, Holy Ghost. They are seduced by the spirit of pride and more, are more interested in upholding their personal image than submitting to the statutes and the standards of my kingdom, says the spirit of the living God. Why? He says, your earthly status is never greater than my kingdom statutes. In times like these, make sure your foundation is firm. It always looks different from what it really seems. Christ says it's time for us to discern. Mm. Mm. Don't be impressed with people that are impressed with themselves. Don't go there. Don't go there. You know what will happen? If you get impressed with that, you become covetous. And you know what that is? You want what they got. You want what they got. And then you compromise your standards. Instead of waiting on God, you go get it from those who you are impressed with. And then when you get caught up with those who you are impressed with, then they're going to require certain things from you. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm not even going to go completely into that conversation, but you already know what I'm talking about. So he's saying your earthly status is never greater than my kingdom statutes. It's time, oh my God, it's time like these that you've got to make sure your foundation is firm. It always looks different from what it really seems. Church, it's time to discern. What is he saying? The Spirit of the Lord is saying, there is more taking place that meets the natural eye. There is a now time where the unseen movement is manifesting in the earth, some of which should never even take place. In the days ahead, the righteous must become more proactive in my presence and be ready to implement uh, my revelation, my God, to deal with their current surroundings, to deal with their current surroundings. You need the revelation of the Lord to deal with your current surroundings. Help me, Holy Ghost. As nations are rising against nations, 
it is clear. It's a clear indication. Listen to this. As nations are rising against nations, it's a clear indication, says the Lord, that my kingdom statutes, which are my decrees, my orders, my rulings, my commands, are colliding with man's earthly status. There's a collision in the spirit. It's our status colliding with his statutes. And God is saying, this is not a time to let our earthly status become more important than his kingdom statutes. Reputation over salvation is damnation. We are in an unseen war with visible demonic manifestations and only through our complete obedience to Christ can we effectively wage war and shut the door. My God, my God, I want to close in prayer. I want to close in prayer. I'm ecstatic about what God is saying right now. There's an alignment that he's expecting from his body, the body of Christ. He's expecting it. He's drawing us in. He's saying, come on in now. Get close to me. Get as close to me as you possibly can. Get as close to me. Come on, obey my laws. Obey my commands. Obey my statutes. Obey my decrees. That's what he's telling us right now because he, he's getting us in a safe place in him. In his presence. Help me, Holy Ghost. Abiding in his presence. Uh, being proactive in his presence. Uh, being blameless in his presence, even when others are blaming you. Now, that's the place in God. Father, we thank you for this word tonight. I thank you and praise you, Father, that we're surrounded, my God, by your angels tonight, your warring angels that are battling for us in the spirit right now, coming up against the enemy that's after this word, this pure truth, this righteous word uh, that the enemy doesn't want your people to take hold of. But I bind that devil tonight in the name of Jesus and I loose him from his assignment over your life on tonight. I plead the blood of Jesus over your household tonight. I plead the blood of Jesus over your mind tonight, over your emotions tonight. My God, my God, God, I thank you for this challenging word. Help us to take a look at ourselves, God. Help us not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to. It's a dangerous place. Thank you for your word, Father. Thank you for deliverance tonight. Thank you for supernatural safety tonight. And we thank you and praise you, Father. And we know, Father, that your kingdom statutes prevail over our earthly status. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you.